Hi, Jim Gore from Thor Wealth Management. Today I want to talk about what the Federal Reserve is doing and why interest rates will probably go higher from here. First of all, let's look at what the Federal Reserve has done over the last 12 years with their balance sheet. And you can see we've had quantitative easing. We've had four uh, time periods where they've bought securities and really helped prop up the market over the last 12 years, with the last one being here in COVID, where they added $4.8 trillion to the economy by buying securities, okay? What we're seeing here, though, is the expectation over the next two years, you can see the forecast that it's gonna drop. So basically, you're gonna have the Federal Reserve get rid of about $2.2 trillion worth of securities. Well, someone has to buy that. And someone that's buying it is gonna demand a higher rate of interest than they're currently getting. One thing I argue about with this chart is if you look at the mortgage-backed securities over the next two years, it's gonna come down, but not meaningfully. This is different from what Esther George, the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City, said in the Indianapolis Economics Club, she expects the mortgage-backed securities to go away in the portfolio and buying treasuries. So that means mortgage-backed securities are gonna be sold off, which means you're gonna see higher interest rates in mortgages. And we've already seen that. So let's look at what has happened in the mortgage-backed secu- or mortgages over the last several months. This is looking at the 30-year mortgage. And you can see the 30-year mortgage has rocketed up here. And we are at the highest point we've been in the last 10 years. And that has all been because the Federal Reserve is not buying mortgage-backed securities. And the market is realizing that they're going to be selling off what mortgage-backed securities they've had. So they're demanding a higher rate of interest or a higher rate of return in order to buy those securities. But let's put this in context, a little bit longer term, because the last 10 years has all been manipulated, as I've shown with the Federal Reserve's balance sheet, with the Federal Reserve buying securities. And you can see here, if you go back, going back to the 1970s, you can see that mortgage rates, even at 5.1% historically, are still very, very low. And you can see that red area is where the Federal Reserve was doing their quantitative easing. So what the Federal Reserve was doing at that point was keeping interest rates low to increase real estate prices. Why were they doing that? Well, 2008, 2009, we saw the mortgage-backed market collapse and real estate really went down in price. So they wanted to go ahead and prop up that part of the market. Esther George even said, in February, what the Federal Reserve wants to do now is bring down real prices, real asset prices. So we're starting to see this and it's shooting up and this is before QT or quantitative tightening. What's gonna happen here with the Federal Reserve selling off their securities, you're probably gonna see mortgage rates go higher from here. If you have any questions or concerns, as always, reach out to us at thorwealthmanagement.com or give us a call. Take care and talk to you in a couple weeks.